with another vlog. I thought I would vlog today just because I'm getting my hair transformed by the amazing Emily that I used to work with at Junction. She is absolutely amazing at hair. Like she did my last hair with this balayage and it's amazing. But I'm feeling like I want more blonde in it for the summer. So I'm having a full head of highlights and we're going a really nice color. Like it's completely different to any other colour that I've had before so yeah I'm so looking forward to it and I just can't wait to have a catch up with all my babes there like honestly I miss working with them all so much like I miss it like I love what I do now I love working in childcare but at the same time I really miss doing nails and I really miss my girls um, and even just my bosses there like they they were like friends to me I miss them up and then next weekend next saturday we're actually having a girly night at mine um because my family is actually not in lincoln next week so we are having a catch up and we're going they're staying at mine and it's gonna be so good now we're gonna have drinks we're gonna play games like we're playing cards against humanities and games like that and I just can't wait, like it's going to be so much fun. I had a girls night about a month ago night, like it was honestly my favourite thing ever and so we've decided we're going to do them like every month or two. Right, come on slow driver. Like literally I went on a speed awareness course last week and I'm just, I now know why I got caught speeding because I'm just so impatient, I hate slow drivers like there's nothing that pains me more right, i am here so i'm going to go in because i'm already five minutes late so yeah but here's the before and i'll show you a little clip of the process and yeah i'll speak to you soon gorgeous like i absolutely love the color like i'll just get in some food i am in the mcdonald's queue because i'm hungry um yeah thank you thank 
here. Literally, I've just got a mayo chicken and some chips because I am hungry. And it's just something quick that I can just have on my way home. Hiya, Hiya thank you. Thank you. And I was just gonna keep this as a hair transformation vlog, but because most of the time I had two people doing my hair at once, I didn't <laughs> get that much footage because it was just all like awkward trying to film when they both wanted their hands in the same place and stuff so yeah but my hair is amazing she's done an amazing job and yeah i just think it's so gorgeous so yeah but i'm going home now i'm gonna drive home i'm going to get my nail stuff and then head to my client and i'm gonna eat this nail chicken on the way I'm so hungry. Like it's literally 10 to 2 and I haven't eaten anything other than breakfast and a few Jaffa cakes. But I say a few Jaffa cakes, I pack a Jaffa cakes. I honestly love the mayo chicken. Like they're literally 99p and they're my fave. Mmm. Amazing. I'm gonna do a bit of an old fashioned karaoke because I want to sing and I'm going on a drive to my client's house so I thought why the hell not and I'm also gonna show you my new bedroom all that jazz later on first let's drive roll it three what chances you rolling with me trying to be rude hey pretty girl I'm feeling you the way you do the things you do oh, 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 my client I went into the pub and some of the like regulars that I always saw when I was working there was there so I was having a good chat to them and then I went and did my nail client and now I've just come to the Carton Centre in Lincoln which is like a little retail park that just has a few little shops like Dunelm there's a Costa but there's a Boots and that's what I want because I need some fake tan for tonight so I'm going to Boots <laughs> so I got some nail glue because I just need some nail glue got a new tanning mitt ready to tan later i got the new saint tropez bronzing water gel seen lots of different reviews on this so i'm gonna try it out tonight and see what i think because i don't like a dark tan i like quite a natural tan and then i got the isle of paradise medium self tanning water which i 
can just spray it over. So I'm going to run a bath. I've just got home and I'm going to use some of the lavender oil in it. I'm going to use some of these which are like rose petal things that you sprinkle in your bath. I just think that'll be really cute. And then we're going to use a bath bomb and I'm going to exfoliate. I'm going to use the Righteous Butter Creamy Body Wash and the Scrub of Your Life by Soap and Glory. And then my body wash will probably be the Berry Bomb Bomb one. It's just my fave. And then I'm going to have a look what other products I could put in my bath because I like quite a lot of bath products. And I'm going to use a face mask and all sorts today. had my bath exfoliated and I've put some of the saint self tan purity bronzing water gel on try so it went on amazing so I'm just gonna leave that develop now and yeah I'm hoping it will come out a really nice color I'm going to take my makeup off that's on my face and do a face mask and then put some of the gel on my face I wanted to do a face mask first to make my skin feel a little bit nicer first take my makeup off with the vitamin e cream cleanser like always this is the best stuff ever like for removing makeup it's so gentle on the skin and it gets it off really well and because it's got vitamin e in it it's really moisturizing on the skin too i'm just going to use some of the body shop matcha green tea mask and this is really good for breakout, which I don't know if you can tell, but my face has got quite a lot of at the minute. And this has got little exfoliating beads in it. So I use this as my face exfoliator as well, because I have quite sensitive skin. I don't like to use a proper exfoliator. Sometimes I will use the Dermalogica Daily Microfoliant, because that's not too harsh on my skin. But again, I do find my skin comes up quite red and like gross after it, so. So I'm now going to take my face mask off. It's been on for about 15 minutes now, I'd say. And I'm just wiping it off with a damp cotton pad. This face mask comes off really easily, which I love. I put a bit of this Purity fake tan on a little brush. And just work this into the skin do my quick little room tour now my room is fully done because the last time i showed you it wasn't fully done and it was still being decorated i hadn't got a chair so as you walk in my room i have got obviously my radiator i've got the shelving unit which i got from tk max i think it was like 15 pound but on the bottom row i've just got all of my essential oils I've got a photo of me and Charlotte Scarlet Slippers blog. I've got my work badge. <laughs> my 18th birthday tiara. And just some loose pictures. I've got this light up sign from my auntie for my 18th birthday. Which says this is my happy place on it. And then when you look into my room. This is my desk slash getting ready area. So basically I have this chair which is also storage unit so you can store things in it but i haven't at the minute 
and it's just this lovely suede chair with gold detailed legs and that was from next and that was 50 pound i've got this shelving unit which is from ikea and yeah it's just got little drawers here which i just keep my big makeup palettes and just my little getting ready essentials and then in this side it has just got some techie bits and just some random bits chewing gum you know the drill got my makeup because i got rid of my makeup unit just because i didn't need it anymore <laughs> thanks Dad. just because i didn't need it anymore and i just thought i would condense my makeup down instead of having loads of stuff that i just didn't use so if you want an updated makeup routine um updated makeup collection let me know and i can definitely film that but it's just got two little zipper compartments i've then got my makeup brushes in this little pot from ikea i've then got this little cotton pad holder which i think is quite handy and just looks quite good there that was from primark i think it was like a pound I've then just got a book and my drinks bowl just because i haven't had any where to put it pot for fruit random and got this mirror which was £10 from Ikea. And then I've got this light above it, which is an LED light. So it's super bright and it's really good for doing your makeup with. And yeah, I just really like it. That was also from Ikea. I'll leave everything that I can link down below, down below. I've then just got some flowers in a vase that somebody got me, which is cute. And then a box of tissues. And then turning around, this is my bed. And let me just move that off. So this is my bed area, which just looks super cosy. The bedding is from B&M and it's like this really cool geometric print. The throw is from Primark. It was like £4, I think. I've then just got some pillows on here. This geometric print pink and gold one was from B&M. My grey fluffy cushion is an old one so i don't know where that was from and then my pug cushion because i love pugs i then got these two little teddy bears on here that one luke customized which is really cute and instead of having a bedside table like lamp i got this clip on one also from ikea but it's just rose gold and it's really good and it's really bright as well got this little bedside table unit which was from b&m and it was £20, which has just got my diffuser on it, a book, my work. And then in here is just a little drawer where I can keep like my medication that I take at night. And then I've just got my wardrobe, which is built into the walls. And then lastly, I have this shelf, which is from Ikea. It's meant to be for picture, like it's a picture shelf. And I just think it's really cute. And it's got my fairy lights over it which this is what luke made me he got me that and then i've got a picture of me and luke so yeah i just really love how cozy my room is and it's just everything that i wanted it to be and yeah trying out the car heated blanket that luke got me for christmas <laughs> <laughs> i'm like a little oh, old no lady God. i'm like a little old lady in his car with it so far fake tan update it's looking good i don't look as much like a ghost as i did earlier i've just come to the chinese in my village and luke's just going in to get the chinese and then we're taking it to his house and we're gonna like have some chill time with his fam so i'm now home from luke's it is like quarter to 11 and yeah i've just got home i'm literally about to brush my teeth and get into bed